Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Carla K. Glam, and today I am here to bring you a video on things that I use on my natural hair. The products I use on my natural hair to help maintain my natural hair and its health. Okay, so first of all, um, if you are not familiar with my channel, um, I am 100% natural and my main form of protective styling is wearing wigs. I wear, you know, all kinds of wigs, mostly curly though, and straight. But it's important that when you wear wigs, wigs can be very drying to your hair. It's, in, it's important to give your hair breaks, you know, like when you come home and you take your wig off or, you know, for your weekly or bi-weekly hair maintenance. Um, my main form of protective styling under my wigs and how I maintain my hair in my wigs. Most of the time I just do um, two strand twists under my wigs because that's easiest because sometimes I find that when I wear cornrows, um, and I wear straight backs, you know how when you lift your braids up in the back, your wig tends to rub your back section. So typically in order to, you know, eliminate all of that, I choose to wear my hair in two strand twists. And in order to get my hair taut at the root so that my, my wig is flat, I braid it at the root and then tw two strand twist it all the way down. So let's first start by the shampoo I use is from Cream River Nature. It's an argan oil, so freight free, moisture and shine shampoo. And this is the shampoo that I choose to use. I use the whole entire line pretty much. I use on my hair the shampoo, the intensive conditioning treatment, but I use this as my deep conditioner because it does say um, after shampooing with the Cream River Nature shampoo, apply a generous amount to hair and comb through for an even distribution place a plastic cap over your hair and sit under a warm dryer for about 15 to 15 minutes rinse thoroughly and follow with any um cream of nature argan oil styling product now i do use the um cream of nature argan oil you know i i do use it um the deep conditioning curling defining cream i do use that but i don't use that all the time so i'm not including that in this video because this is what you know, as my weekly and bi-weekly maintenance of my hair, my natural hair underneath, I do use the shampoo and the conditioner. Now, I do, like I said, I do use this as my deep conditioner. Um, for my regular rinse-out conditioner, I do use the Shea Moisture Yucca and Plantain Anti-Breakage Strengthening Conditioner with Bayabu Oil and Cilantro Extra, and it's to get rid of frizzy, split, and breaking hair to moisturize, control, and, bo and boost shine. And this is soap fade free and color safe. So it's good for natural hair, whether colored or uncolored. And let's see, it says this is a fortifying conditioner that detangles and smooths hair cuticles to reduce frizz and improve the appearance of split ends. I love this product. I would I would like to say I love this product. I use it as my, um, like I said, my rinse out conditioner. Um, it has magnificent slip. And I did do a review on this product a while ago on my channel. It has a very nice smell. It's a soft, delicate smell. It's not too offensive because, you know, I know some of you ladies out there do not like harsh smells. But for me, um, I like anything that smells fruity and since this is plantain, it has a slight fruit smell, but it's not nothing that would have the bees chasing you, you know, if you walked outside with a freshly washed head of hair. Um, I do, like I said, so I begin my wash, my wash day routine with the shampoo, then I use this conditioner, then to deep conditioning, I use this one. And then after that, I rinse my hair out, but before I rinse my hair out, I do go in with my good old extra virgin olive oil from great value bureau um my style my oil of choice is olive oil i find that olive oil works best on my hair and it's you know you can never go wrong with olive oil i feel like olive oil is just the perfect all-around oil it's good for your hair it's good for your cuticles it's good for your skin it's good for your scalp like i just use it and when I'm going in with that shampoo, with that conditioner, I go in and thoroughly detangle each section of my hair. Most times I um, part my hair into four quadrants and I divide my hair up into four quadrants and then I go in each quadrant with a wide tooth comb. And then after I start from ends first, working my way up to the root 
and then you know once my hair is thoroughly detangled then I go in with the oil rub it in after I put the conditioner on and finger detangle and just let you know each section properly you know get the nutrients that it needs while the other section is you know processing so after that I, after I rinse my hair out I do go in and make sure that my hair again is thoroughly detangled with a wide tooth comb I go in and oil my scalp with the wild growth oil light oil moisturizer now there are two types of oil to this line one is in a white bottle one is in a yellow bottle this one is I think a little bit lighter than the one in a white bottle and I know a lot of people don't like this per se um, because it has a really herbal smell like I don't know how to explain it now um it is rather strong my mom has told me before that girl what is that smell that medicine smell is this but it has definitely helped my hair grow thicker so I can definitely vouch for this oil and if you would like for me to do a review on this wild growth oil that I use on my hair I will do a separate review from this video but I must say that I do like this I have put this you know it says to drop it in your shampoo. I have done that method or I have gone in, like I said, after my hair is thoroughly detangled and after I rinse all my conditioner everything out, I go in all my scalp to make sure it's properly hydrated and I moisturize and massage my scalp to get the oil down to those follicles, you know, to rejuvenate and get that blood flow going, girl, to those hair follicles so the hair can go thick and go long. But most of all, so that it can improve the health because health comes first before it lands. And after you know i moisturize my scalp and i you know have washed my hair and conditioned it girl i go in lastly with the anti-breakage strengthening styling milk from shea moisture and it's from the same line as my rinse out conditioner that i use and as you can see i've been squeezing the life out of this bottle i must say i know that everybody is mad at shea moisture and everything but that's a whole different topic for a whole other video but I must say that I like this product and I do want to try some other products from Shea Moisture Line as far as conditioner and the um, the creams for the hair for your protective styling. Because I heard they have very good creams for protective styling. I don't know if I want to necessarily leave Cream of Nature because I really love the um, Moroccan Argan Oil line. And I know a lot of, I've heard a lot of reviews by people saying that they don't like the smell of it. But like I said, I don't know. My nose palette is just different. I just like weird smelling things, I guess. But um, I do use this. And like I said, I just randomly section out pieces of my hair. I don't get the biggest section of hair, but I don't absolutely get the smallest section of hair. And like I said, I will, you know, thoroughly detangle it, make sure it's detangled, and then you know twist it up and then walk around and let my hair air dry it's rare that I put heat on my hair the only time I say I do put heat on my hair is when I am doing protective styling like getting a, um, a more permanent protective style like um, crochet braids or some type of braid or sewing I haven't got sewing in a really long time but most most likely I'm wearing wigs because I feel like since wigs can be such a drying um, such a drying protective style to your hair because your hair is constantly under a wig gap and under um, the wig that is not getting no air that is important for me every day to come home and to let my hair breathe and to make and make sure weekly that's another thing I do in between washes if, if this you know depending upon if my hair is itching because you know with the weather changes your scalp changes and your hair changes some a little bit some weeks your hair tends to need a little bit T more TLC than other weeks so I do um in between washes like if I want to wait two weeks depending upon how I feel sometimes I wash my hair weekly sometimes bi-weekly um in between washes I will go in with a spray bottle and you know just unravel my twists go in with a spray bottle detangle my hair and put this argan oil Cream of Nature Argan Oil Strength and Sign Leave-In Conditioner and the um, mixture will separate so before you use it's best to shake it up and I will spray each section and then go in and you know with my oil or a cream and retwist my hair and then let that air dry again and then wear that for a week and then after that I will go in and redo this whole process and wash and condition and decondition my hair. So yeah y'all that's all 
Um, if you have any questions, please leave your comments down below. Tell me what you use on your hair to help maintain your natural hair. And I will be back with more videos, y'all. Oh, yeah. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and my Facebook. I have Facebook group, a Facebook group at Curly K Glam. You can reach me at Curly K Glam on all my social media platforms. And just, you know, I would love to interact with you guys. I'm trying to grow my platform. Hair is one of my passions. I love natural hair and I love, you know, hair extensions and everything. And this is just, you know, I'm trying to put my foot out there, you know, to help, you know, spread knowledge and also gain more knowledge. And, you know, just to, you know, empower young black women out there because, you know, you know, coming up, I was an avid YouTube watcher and I was just like, you know, hey, I love hair. It's, you know, something I want to talk about with other girls and, you know, find other people you know, around the world to have the same common interest as me. So yeah, y'all, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back with more videos. Thanks. Deuces.